Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Shavi Zane. I'm coming on to do a reading for you all real quick in regards to making your next move your best move. So I just laid out some cards here. I got a few cards laid out on the grass here. I'm hoping that the wind doesn't catch me um, and, and blow my cards around, but I'm seeing the gist of this, um, the, the message here. There's one of two things that's happening that I'm picking up on with you all. Um, and just take it how it resonates. It might not be your reading. If it is, then I hope that this is going to give you some guidance and clarity. Um, in regards to work for some of you, for some of you, this is in regards to a career path. You're being called to take action with the chariot here and the ace of wands. You could be called to take action towards a creative idea, um, something that's very exciting, something that you're very passionate about here. Um, then on the other end of this, this is in regards to love taking action towards a new exciting offer okay um now i'm seeing that this would actually balance things out here for you because you have justice here so with the justice scales this is like that good karmic energy coming back to reward you for those um good seeds that you have planted and so i do feel that for many of you this is like new love here but this is a very divine partnership this is like a spiritual union but and I'm going to get back to the career part of this as well. For those of you who this is not about love, there is a choice that has to be made here. And it looks like someone might have, you know, if this was a new love offer, something that was fresh where you didn't get things off the ground here. And it was, um, you know, more so along the lines of communication or something like that. It looks like somebody is making a choice here to move ahead um, from a very toxic and karmic relationship here with the lovers and the devil coming out, okay? Now, this could be two people who are karmic soulmates here. Um, and with the devil coming out, that can strongly indicate that one person um, may have some addictive uh, behavior, behavior patterns, some addictions here, whether it's addictions to sex um, or codependencies on actual substances here. Now, I do see that there's a very magnetic connection when it comes to that relationship, but it's all based on lust and physical attraction, okay, with the Queen of Wands here. And there's a lot of manipulation when it comes to this past person. And so when we're talking about making your next move your, your best move, <clears throat> I feel like in terms of love, you're being called to walk away from someone from your past who's been very karmic in their energy, um, and to, I feel like you're also being called to move in silence to a degree as well with the high priestess coming out here. Your intuition has been telling you that this relationship is not in alignment for you. And it's also telling you that there is a new love offer that's coming your way or that you're being called to make a move towards because I see leadership, um, taking the initiative, stepping into your power, a lot of solar plexus energy here. Many of you are being called to take the initiative to open up the lines of communication when it comes to this new love and then others of you are being called to take the initiative to free yourself from a very karmic situation now in terms of career paths i see learning something new okay embarking on something new again that's going to be very emotionally fulfilling here something that is a gift um with the ace of wands and the ace of cups this could be something that is new to you but maybe there's some hesitancy because you might fear um, I don't know if you fear having some um, financial, you know, having to balance your finances here um, and maybe taking some losses there if you was to move away from this past uh, work situation because I do see that it brought a certain amount of security to you. And so maybe with that, um, you might be really kind of hesitating as to whether or not you should take this offer. But I see that if you have the strength and the courage to do so, it's actually going to lead you towards your justice and it's going to balance things out for you. Um, I do see positive movement forward here, being optimistic about your future. So you want to keep a positive outlook on that. I do see you all. It's like you're in this energy of waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for the right opportunity to make your move here. Some of you, again, going back into love, it's this energy of being very stressed out in regards to taking action, okay? Maybe stressed out in regards to the waiting process, not knowing when you should make this move. But I see that there's a win-win outcome forecast when you do, okay? You do have this card here that says there's a win-win outcome that is forecast. So there is a, a gateway that has been opened for you that's going to allow you to have true love in your life or a work opportunity that you truly do love that's going to be balancing for you. Um, maybe even... This could even be in regards to like partnerships in terms of like 
um, people that you decide to partner up with when it comes to certain career paths. But I see that, you know, you're being called to take the leadership role here because that's exactly what that says, leadership role. You also have power here, okay? And what clarified power is the judgment card, card which means you're making a final decision, okay? A very final decision that's going to give you, um, to open up a door for a second chance here. So if you, again, if this was a relationship or a friendship that didn't get off the ground and you ended up deciding to leave that situation to go back into a karmic partnership i see that there is an open door a gateway that has been open for you to take the opportunity to walk away from the past karmic situation to move towards something that's going to be very emotionally fulfilling if it is a work situation then it's the same energy walking away from something that was not emotionally fulfilling into something that is but the past situation might have brought a certain amount of security and so maybe you have some concerns in regards to that. I also sense that the past relationship for some of you might have brought a certain amount of financial security and stability, even though it was very karmic. Um, and so because of that, uh, there's a strong hesitancy in walking away. But I sense that the love within that relationship is no longer there because it's become more centered around financial um, security um, and material stability there. And so the love in that relationship is gone. So I do see that some of you are moving towards the, an empress or an emperor, someone who is in their divine energy here. You do have love begins coming out as well. So this will be, again, you got the ace of cups coming out twice. Very emotionally fulfilling relationship here um, that's going to bring a lot of happiness. You also have freedom. So you're being called to free yourself from the past. This bird is going in a completely different direction as the other birds, so that strongly indicates that you might have to leave some people behind in order to take this path because maybe not everyone is going to be in, um, in agreement to you walking away from whatever that past career path was or that past relationship was in order to move towards your divine union. Um, but it's very clear that that situation was very toxic and karmic to your energy, and so when we're stepping into our own divinity and we're learning how to create those healthy boundaries for ourselves and, you know, to stop caring so much about what other people think, you know, remembering that this is the only time that you get in this vessel. Okay. And so you want to live it to the fullest and making sure that every, every relationship that you have in your life, whether it's romantic friendship, um, whatever the case may be, even when it comes to your work circumstances, you want to make sure that you're able to get up every day feeling confident and feeling balanced and at peace with what you're doing, okay? Regardless of how much security it may provide, that security is only external and all of those things disintegrate with time. But what does last forever is beautiful memories that you create with people who are really in alignment with you. And so I do see that you have the Eight of Cups here and it says walking away from the past. Make your next move your best move. It looks like you're being called to walk away from that past situation that brought a lot of heartbreak and pain here a lot of betrayal and backstabbing energy here um where you felt like this happened i feel like this was, this was a repeat cycle for a long time here so it might have been some karmic energy that you needed to um play out and learn some very uh vital lessons that were painful okay you took a lot of losses and went through a whole lot of changes emotionally um i feel like in many different ways you went through a lot of changes and for some of you you might have tried to fight to keep this relationship like but what happened was it made you become very defensive. It made you become very guarded and blocked off. And so um, I feel like you had an opportunity in front of you, you know, whether it was work or not, you might have had other opportunities in front of you to move into a different direction. But because there was a lot of pressure to maintain a certain career path or a certain relationship in order to maintain security, and because you was maybe operating more from your root and sacral chakra energy at that time, you, you decided to hold on and you did not take advantage of the potential opportunities that was presenting themselves. But here it is, the gateway is here. So you have an open gateway here that can lead you towards very you know, unexpected blessings, okay? With the gateway and the unicorn, that's like an unexpected you know, thing to see. And on the other side, it's very beautiful here. So I feel like if you take the leadership role, work on your solar plexus chakra, okay? Because I feel like your solar plexus and your heart chakra need some work right now in order for you to really be able to embark on um, this next move here. And um, just remember, you know, regardless of how much you invested in the past, you always have a new opportunity to plant new seeds and to create new memories with new people and, you know, it's, it's another season. I feel like it's just a new season for you to come up out of this energy with the death card here. It's over with for the past. So I feel like what's held you back is you're looking at 
the amount of time that you might have invested in a person, place, or thing, career or relationship or whatever the case may be. And that has what that's what's kept you stagnant from taking um, from, from taking the initiative of walking away. But it's something that you've often thought about because of this betrayal and this pain. But it looks like you don't want to sit in this pain anymore. You know, you want this to be over. You want to go through the transformation. You want to move on into a positive direction with people that are like minded that you can celebrate with. You're ready to move towards your divine partnership. OK, y'all got the lovers coming out twice. You have spiritual union coming out. So it's very clear to me that if this is not a um, work opportunity, this is definitely a union that is supposed to be coming together, okay? Um, and spiritual union is right up underneath the empress. So if you are, like I said, an emperor or an empress or coming into union with an emperor or empress, you're leaving behind, you're switching out this, a very devil toxic energy that was very karmic and, you know, maybe even addictive behavior patterns, codependencies, I mean, all types of darkness hovered in this relationship, but very sexually driven to this, which is the lovers, which is a divine union, something that is orchestrated by the most high God and your spiritual team and is meant for you to come into union with this person. And so um, even for some of you. OK, wait, baby, even for some of you, I'm picking up on this energy that because I got the the queen of wands and right up underneath the devil. For some of you, you might have been dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but this person might have been doing some sort of sex magic in order to keep you stuck to them, chained and bound to them so that you wouldn't embark on this new opportunity. Um, that's not the case for everyone, but that's what I'm strongly picking up on with the betrayal card here of the five of swords right up underneath the devil. So all of these cards are lined up together because this person might have been well aware of the fact that you had a divine union or a very strong connection with someone else. And so to keep you stuck and chained and bound to them, they was doing um, some sort of spell work or dark magic to keep you confused and stuck. And so I see you going through a major transformation. You have step into your power, you have power, you have leadership, you have a win-win outcome as forecast. You're gonna be celebrating here. You got two cards that indicate celebration and three of cups, two different decks, okay? So you will be moving towards like-minded people that you can actually work with and create with so just keep in mind um this is a a destined opportunity it's a new opportunity and it's one that can really bring you a lot of happiness and fulfillment whether it's career or love um so let, like i said make your next move your best move and know that this is what i'm picking up on and so if you decide to take the initiative to move into a new direction look forward to a happy outcome so i love you all and i will talk to you all next time